right, and welcome back to another Big Bad Review. I'm Cam with Big Bad Beetle Bros and Stronger Than Before, a Zeo Rewatch podcast. Today we are looking at a uh, smaller review for a smaller item. This is the uh, Guardian Weapon Cicada Blade, or the Cicada Shogod, uh, or the Cicada Zord, whatever you want to call it, from from King Oger, uh, the current ongoing uh, Super Sentai season of the year, and uh, this just arrived today, uh, one day after recording my Tarantula Night review, and uh, this will go out right after that, so if you guys haven't seen the Tarantula Night review yet, I'm going to be talking a lot about uh, how these two coordinate and go together, but uh, more specifically, I'm going to be really focusing on this guy, um, and I actually have gone ahead and I've ordered a second one of these for a couple different reasons. We'll talk about some of that towards the end of the video. But this is the Cicada Blade. This is uh, one of the kind of ancillary auxiliary show gods. Uh, kind of like a lot of Power Ranger and Super Sentai seasons. There are auxiliary, bleh, auxiliary extra zords and mechs and all that jazz uh, that appear throughout the season that don't have a corresponding ranger or a pilot necessarily and with uh, with the show gods specifically they're all kind of they are all separate semi-sentient creatures i guess it's one of those seasons where the the mechs may or may not be sentient living creatures i, I think in in king oger it's i think supposed to be fairly heavily implied that they are completely sentient creatures thus the show god title. They're, they're uh, like deities for specific regions and stuff. And the uh, Cicada Shogod was responsible for a horrible tragedy that happened 15 years before the happenings of uh, the King Oger ser series, where a, uh, a huge swarm of Cicada plagued the lands. The, I think it's called the Wrath of the Gods was the, the tragedy that struck 15 years ago. Uh, so, without further ado, let's go ahead and crack this guy open. I already cut the tape on this. This, like I said, just came in brand new. Really small box. Um, one of the smaller, single uh, packaged items that I've gotten in a long time. Super simple cardboard box. So, let's go ahead and crack this guy open. Like I said, super simple box on this guy. Nothing really to write home about got a little cardboard insert in here and there he is just taped to the insert grab my handy dandy multi-tool there we go and just unravel this guy yeah super super simple figure Nothing complicated going on. Adorable. All right. Here is the Cicada Show God. I, as you guys have already gathered from this video, I am sure, if not from my other videos, I adore cicadas. Very specifically, they are my favorite insect. They're my one of my favorite uh, animals, period, I would say. Um, yeah, I just, I absolutely love all things Cicada, and uh, I was blown away when I think there was a leaked list of upcoming show gods that would appear in the series, and they mentioned uh, Cicadas. They had a Cicada mech listed as, uh, was going to be on the, on the, on the show. And lo and behold, they play a fairly plot-intensive role, which I was exceedingly more surprised of. I wasn't surprised to hear that it was going to be an auxiliary Zord and not something like uh, Tarantula Knight, where it would have been uh, affiliated with a Ranger. We are, as far as I understand, um, other than power-ups, we are fully uh, finished up having Rangers of any kind, um appearing on the show. But, I love the colors on this guy. Very, uh, traditional, um, 
what is it, uh, Magicata? I can't remember that. I'll put it down here. There's a, spe a species, a handful, sorry. There's a handful of specific species of cicada that are in Japan um, that have this kind of uh, light green and gray uh, tone with the bright red eyes. And a lot of cicadas have that coloring. There's cicadas that are black and green, black and orange, uh, red and orange, um, shades of brown, uh, shades of gray, bright green with different uh, shades, all sorts of stuff. Um, there's there's way, 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 way more species of cicada than most people probably uh, think. But I really love this guy. He's got kind of the squat body instead of a little more, more elongated like some cicada have, which is really cool. The wing design is very crisp and clean. That silver paint stands out like crazy against the gray. Got some little underwing detail. There is the Bandai uh, copyright print made in Thailand down there on the bottom. Little bluish purple foot pads, which are the uh, part that will connect to uh, the larger mech. Kind of a jet booster thing on the back here. And those bright kind of reddish pink eyes. I think the color comes across on the camera pretty well. Um, in the show, the eyes are definitely, I think, more red, and the this kind of teal is pretty spot on, and it matches the teal that appears on um, to one of Tarantula Knight's shoulder spider arm hook things. Uh, to transform this into the cicada blade, all that happens is right by the eyes, these are a ratchet uh, joint, they move all the way down, and the blade moves out, the wings move out as the blade. So you just do that on both sides, and it just moves so that these pieces are uh, vertical instead of horizontal along the back. So that just rotates down. And then you just move the ball joint on the wing out so that you have the blades facing out. You can have them perpendicular or uh, parallel, however you want to do it. Make it look nice and cool. Uh, you can use this guy on the full King Oger uh, uh, all the same. As far as I understand, they have the same kind of pegs on the arms. So let's go ahead and show how this guy combines on here. So uh, I'm going to raise you guys up a little bit. Cool. So as you can see, we've got the kind of grid on the arms here and matching little grid on here and they just click right in nice and steady onto there. So I'll give you guys a better perspective of how that works. There's no fancy, it doesn't go into the peg on the hand, it doesn't hold it like a gun. Uh, it clicks right into place and snaps down over uh, the little kind of gridded rail pattern on the arm. Um, and yeah, it uh, goes, you can kind of like put it wherever you want on the arm. You can, you can move it up a little bit further so it covers more of the hand, or you can move it back further. I guess if you wanted to have him hold something, you kind of can. Um, and you can move the fist to align however you want with that. Uh, so if you wanted to, like, take it off and have the fist down and then attach the blade, you can do it that way. However, however you like. Um, I think I like having the fist kind of up like he would be holding, like he'd be holding something. Um, but that is just me. So yeah, it sits on the top of the wrist. I don't think you can manage to put it on the side because of the pegs here for the spider um, finger arm hand thing. Uh, on King Oger, you might be able to, on the on the full on the full Megazord, you might be able to. I'm not certain about that because I don't have it. Uh, I would have to ask somebody um, who does, but I'm sure there's reviews out there of people who have the full set who can give a better perspective than I can on uh, kind of the status of how all of these guys can combine. And I don't know if when they fully combine, if the cicada and the um, centipede or millipede chainsaw also attach. Because the other weapon that you would get with this guy with the deluxe package with the uh, accessory weapons um, or accessory show gods is you would also get the chainsaw 
the millipede chainsaw, which goes on the other arm, uh, or vice versa. And you can see uh, up on here on the shoulders, we've got the teal, whoop, the teal coloring there. I keep bending, got so many joints. He's got that, that teal coloring so we can remove his, let's stand him up better for a second. And stand you guys up better for a second. Cool. Uh, so yeah, you can see the teal here. So I guess if you really wanted to be, I don't know if it's more show accurate or how that would specifically work, but uh, you can put him over on the on his right arm and it'll correspond with the teal shoulder spider arm uh, and then if you have the millipede chainsaw that would go on the other arm and the millipede is purple and it matches the purple arm so I am certain that that is fully intentional design wise uh, but yeah I really enjoy this little accessory this is like with shipping, maybe like 30 bucks, a little bit more than that from uh, eBay, Amazon, Toe Collectibles, Big Bad Toy Store, all the places that you can find it. It's still readily available as far as I've seen. Um, I'm gonna stag, I'm gonna snag another one uh, for whatever, wherever's cheapest. I got, I got this one, same place I got Tarantula Night from um, Toe Collectibles. I'm very happy that I got it from there, but if eBay or somewhere has one for cheaper, with like free shipping or something, I'll snag a second one from there because um, I actually might snag two or three to be completely honest because, or I, I mean, I might snag a second or a third because I do like the idea of him having both. I don't really like the millipede chainsaw and I don't really care about completing the set, quote unquote, um, for this guy. Otherwise, I'd be buying all of the show god figures and I'm not going to do that. Uh, but I love the idea of him having two cicadas, one on either arm, and also the cicada show gods are kind of the the on an army builder mech, which you don't really get a lot of in shows like this, uh, where there are intentionally in the show in the series there are a lot of scenes where there are hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds of uh, cicada show gods buzzing around, and uh, yeah, I just think it would be pretty cool to have. Uh, like, I don't know, a, a handful of Cicada Show Gods posed around with uh, this guy floating around. Um, yeah, I just think that, that would be really fun. And also, I uh, want to recolor one of them. I want to repaint one of them to match the color scheme of my uh, Indie Toku Hero God Punk that I have a comic coming out for soon. Uh, issue Zero is available on uh, on Etsy and uh, all sorts of places, um, and uh, I won't shill for that too hard. But so that's kind of uh, my motivations from getting this guy. Honestly, that was a huge motivator for me to get Tarantula Knight, even though I fell in love with uh, Tarantula Knight as a uh, as a character and a figure on the show already uh, when he debuted using, or well, I think in his second or third episode, popped up using the um, Cicada Show God. I just knew that I had to get this figure because I absolutely have to get the Cicada Blade. Um, and like I said, this can attach, if you don't have Tarantula Knight or don't want Tarantula Knight, you can absolutely attach this onto a uh, King Oger figure. Uh, their arms are pretty much the exact same mold as far as I can tell. But, yeah, this has been a fairly short, fairly simple review. Um, I don't really have anything to write home about on this guy. Um, I love it. Yeah, um, until next time, I hope, hope you guys have enjoyed this little bit of a shorter review. Um, as always, I have been Cam with the Big Bad Beetle Bros and Stronger Than Before, a Zero Rewatch podcast. You can find Beetle Bros at Beetle Bros Pod on Twitter uh, and Big Bad Beetle Bros on Instagram and Facebook uh, and here on YouTube, obviously, where you are watching this. You can also find uh, Project Louder 
has all of the Beetle Bros podcast episodes, also has Stronger Than Before, and a just menagerie of other podcasts, blogs, vlogs, and everything else under the sun, talking about movies, uh, comics, uh, television, all things pop culture, uh, every genre you can imagine, we've got something there that will strike your fancy. Um, and, of course, you can find Stronger Than Before at Stronger Than Before Podcast on Facebook and Instagram. We don't post super often until new videos drop, which will be soon. We've been on a little bit of a hiatus working on other projects, but you guys will see the fruits of those labors and our uh, slightly backlogged episodes here soon, I promise, on that. Uh, I hope you guys have had fun with this. Like I said, you can check me out all over the place on social media, and please like, subscribe, uh, hit the little bell notification. We post videos on here basically every Saturday right around 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, trying to keep with that continuity, I guess, that, uh, that succinctness and that schedule. Uh, but, yeah. Do you guys have a, a favorite show god from... King Oger so far? Is it one of the auxiliaries? Is it one of the weapons? Is it uh, one of the the three black and gold ones? Do you have a favorite Shogod Zord character bug thing? Uh, leave it down in the comments. I'd love to hear about it because obviously Cicada Blade is mine right next to Tarantula Knight. So uh, with that, I've been Cam. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you next time.